You may be wondering what the main components are you need to make a motion control system. What are the minimum number of components you need? I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. Let's talk about it. The end goal is for you to move your mechanics. That's what makes your system work. That's what you actually want. Well, the mechanics don't have any sort of way of moving. They don't have motors on them or anything. So we need to add some motors. That's what's going to turn the mechanics or move the mechanics. And sometimes you have to have a gearhead between the motor and the mechanics. That's just part of the mechanical and motor sizing. But we have to have a power source, a drive, we call it. It's really an amplifier. It's the same thing as an amplifier on a stereo, but it's the power source that powers the motors. But the drives are dumb, usually. They're not very intelligent, so they have to have some brains to them. And that's what the controller is, or a PLC, a programmable logic controller. That's the brains of the system. Now, we might have some sensors on the mechanics. They provide us some sort of feedback or some sort of information back from the mechanics, a lot like your fingers do, your ears, your eyes. That tells the controller what's going on in the mechanical end. That's kind of the extra component. One other component that is possibly needed is a human-to-machine interface or a computer, a PC, a touchscreen computer if you want an HMI on there or some sort of interface on there. Sometimes you only need that controller to be programmed, so you just have a laptop, but other times you may want to change some variables, some speeds or locations or recipes, and that's where an HMI comes in. The controller is what controls the outputs and it gets the inputs back in there, so that's the I.O. for the controller. But there's five main components. The mechanics, the motors, the drive, the controller, and the HMI or computer. I hope that helps.